Well, earlier this week, we perhaps got an indication that Harry and Meghan won't be returning to the UK anytime soon when it was revealed that Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank are moving into their old home, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. Rebecca English is back with us now. Rebecca, this seems like it was quite an abrupt move. Were you surprised? I'm not going to lie, this was a bolt from the blue. Um, but yeah, Harry and Meghan have confirmed that they are allowing Princess Eugenie and Jack Brookbank, who are obviously expecting their first baby in a matter of weeks, really, to live at Frogmore Cottage. And in fact, we actually saw the removal van bringing some of their stuff in this week. Eugenie and Harry are said to be quite close cousins, but do you think the Queen would have had a say in this? Yes, Harry and Princess Eugenie are really close. They're, in fact, probably the closest amongst the cousins. But no, the Queen didn't have a say in it at all. It was organised between themselves and Buckingham Palace were told this is what they're going to do. And the palace said, look, this is the Sussexes' private home and it's a matter for them. That said, Eugenie is a real favourite of the Queen, so I can't imagine that she would be displeased that, you know, her, her beloved granddaughter, who is expecting uh, another great-grandchild, will be living just down the road now. So, this does beg the question, though, when Harry and Meghan, I mean, at some point they will return, even for a visit, where, where will they stay? Will they be bunking up with their cousins at Frogmore? Literally, that's exactly what they'll be doing. They'll be shacking up with um, Princess Eugenie and Jack at Frogmore. I mean, I think it does suggest that they're not going to be back that often. Um, we don't know how long this arrangement is going to last, by the way. It could only be for a year until Eugenie finds her own place to live in the locality, which is close to her parents. But um, I, my gut feeling is this is an indication that their visits are going to be few and far between to the UK. Rebecca, does this mean another expensive makeover for Frogmore Cottage? Is this going to cost we taxpayers more again? I, I can't see that happening at all. I mean, uh, it's I know people have visited Frogmore and it's very tastefully done, apparently. I don't think there'll be any appetite um, for her to change it. But also, it's been really stressed by both the Sussexes and Buckingham Palace. This is still Harry and Meghan's home. They've paid off all of the taxpayers' money and it's their home for as long as they want it. Uh, very interesting. Richard and Julia, I mean, it, used to, it really did amuse me reading about what a dump Frogmore Cottage was <laughs> before <laughs> the bazillion dollar reefer yeah. but what, what do you make of all of this i mean surely it means they're really not coming back in a hurry are they i mean i know that harry and Meghan have um have sort of made clear that they're happy to stay with um you know jack and usually at this house but i just don't think that will happen i think realistically on the rare occasions that they do come back if they come back at all they'll go back to frogmore cottage and jack and usually would move out and live with or stay with um her parents at royal lodge where even though fergie and andrew are separated are divorced they still live in the same house, remarkably. See, I'm not even royal and I wouldn't be putting up with that. No, I, I wouldn't be moving out. I can't imagine yeah. Meghan's the easiest house <laughs> guest, with all due respect to her. Um, I, I find it extraordinary. I think most people watching this, even if you are a staunch royalist, the fact that these are incredibly wealthy people apparently just have to be given houses all over the places. And again, it's either, it's either a private residence or it's not a private residence. Why was my taxpayers' money used to refurbish a, a, tax, a, a, a residence that apparently is a private one? Uh, Eugenie and Jack, they've got plenty of money, thank you very much. Go and, go and buy or rent your own home. Uh, Harry, I think, is different. You know, you've got to remember, there is the massive uh, security issue for Harry because he served in Afghanistan and because you know, he is the Queen's grandson. There is uh, clearly that specific issue uh, for him. But um, I have to say, I just despair of these people who... Uh, again, it's one thing for the royalty to be, you know, uh, sort of seen as being different from the likes of us and people yeah. accept that with the Queen and the direct line. When you have this whole array of royals who are just sort of seen to be freeloading and getting somewhere lovely to go and live, and it's not a cottage, it's five houses in one, I think it really does irk quite a lot of no, taxpayers. It, it makes sense, doesn't it? You've got this property basically sitting vacant while Harry and Meghan are in America. Makes sense to yeah, have some house sitting. Maybe, maybe that house could have been used for other things in the first place.